So you might be wondering... Fuck's sake, I'm, I'm at a loss. You know, I'm gonna keep this in, and it's gonna keep all this in. So, okay, okay. Have you ever wanted to make your base an impenetrable fortress? Well, of course you do. Everyone hates offline raiders. Everyone wants more turrets, especially since the new turret cap. I say new, it's been out for like a few years. But the turret cap has unfortunately limited us to 12 auto turrets that are active in a 40 meter radius at any given time. This is 40 meters between two turrets, not 40 meters of TC privilege, okay? That's a good clarification. But, you might be wondering, why do I need this circuit? And what, is th what does this do? And I need, it, I need to be explained to as if I don't know anything about electricity. Well, good job, because I don't know anything about electricity either. So, let's talk about the flip-flop system. It's a natural circuit, obviously. You're kind of looking at it. And uh, it only needs power between two sets of turrets. Obviously, you can see this happening here. One turret turns on, one turret turns off, vice versa. But why, why, why do you need this circuit? Okay, why do you need this circuit? Well, that's because turrets now generate. No, sorry, now need ten power to run. Eleven for this circuit for each turret. So effectively, you need uh, one hundred and twenty power for each turret. Or if you want to include the system that detects a player the blocking system, using the receiver, you don't even need to use a receiver, you must need 11 power for each turret. That is... 144? No. I'm not good with math. Editor me, put the power that you need on the screen. I want to say 144 just to be safe. But yeah. But you might be running... Why? Well, you see... Actually, back before a turret update in 2019, turrets generated their own power. All right, this is pretty cool, very nice. That meant that you didn't need to actually power the turret for it to do anything. You would just place it down, put a gun in it, and it would just work like a normal, normal turret, I guess. And then, obviously, uh, you could spam them, spam them endlessly. And then, uh, in 2019, they did an update where you need 10 power to power a turret. This is when electricity was introduced. I'm pretty sure. But, there was still no limit, so obviously a flip-flop system wasn't really that necessary. You would just place down as many turrets as you could store power or generate power with uh, wind turbines or solar panels. And then obviously, in October of 2023, turrets then got a limit of 12, which pains my heart. But hey, this is where a flip-flop comes in. It technically, I guess you could say bypasses the 12 limit, allowing you to place down more than 12 turrets. Effectively. Hell yeah. But, how does this system kind of work? Well, it takes power from this memory cell, puts it into this electrical branch using the inverted output, and then obviously powers this blocker, uh, memory, uh, branch, it powers the blocker, and then another electrical branch. Now, this electrical branch on the right is where you put all your turrets. Now, obviously, Branch out, one turret, and then obviously you can add as many turrets as you want. Effectively meaning you need to connect 12 turrets to each section of the flip-flop. Right. He's standing there, bro. He's so intimidating. Okay, anyways. This is... Th this splitter is where everything can go wrong. Right, now... Why can it go wrong? That's because how a splitter works is it puts out power into obviously 1, 2, and 3. It split it into three powers. But what you might not know is power, when it is lost, goes from one first, then two, and then to three. It's not three, then two, then one. It's one, two, and then three. Meaning three is the last one to lose power. That's how we, when this timer goes off, you'll see that it has a singular pulse for this timer, uh, for this blocker, allowing it to set the memory cell, meaning that then... The turrets then obviously flip to the next section. Now obviously, I will show you how to wire it all up in a minute. Now, I just need to dewire this because, yeah. But, that's effectively how the system works. So you want your power 1 to go into the power in of the splitter. Power 2, uh, not splitter, the timer, sorry. Power 2 into the toggle on of the timer. And power 3 into the blocker. With then, obviously, the power out of your timer going into the block pass-through of your blocker. 
and your power out of the blocker going into the set of your memory cell. Now, I want to quickly just demonstrate what happens when you obviously flip these like this, like so. You will see that it will instantly rotate to the next circuit without even letting the turret turn on. So that's where issues can lie. It's the same if I was to move the power up to to somewhere else. It's the exact same issue. So yeah, that's how you wanna this is how you wanna do the circuit. Now, power reasons, obviously, BCN. You should be using a BCN to power your turrets and your flip-flops. Pretty epic. But um this this deserves a whole new video in itself. I'll make a updated BCN video soon at some point in the future. And obviously you can see that there are some components that aren't actually connected because I will obviously have to show them off in a bit. I say show them off in a bit. I'll show them off in another video. But how these these systems basically um, allow for a auxiliary battery that is not connected to the BCN to be powered by the BCN. And then obviously it will be used as a backup battery in case the BCN gets destroyed. And we'll get all that. We'll get into that later on in the video. Okay. So how to wire a BC? How are you going to wire this up? Right. How does it work? You know. I still have no clue, I'm gonna be honest with you. But how how do you want to wire this? Well, firstly, let's let's get some power. So go to your BCN if you have one. Make a little branch out, and then take your power. Stick it into the bottom of your memory cell. Now obviously, if you are adding on, you will take the output of your memory cell. So actually, you know what, this might be the better way to do it. Okay, so, you take the output of your memory cell, if you're adding on to the circuit, and you plug it into the bottom of your uh, memory cell here. Now, to do the um, reset protocol, you will take the reset and you'll plug it in to this branch out right here, and we will color this as red. Beautiful. Now then, now that you have your memory cell, you will take the inverted power output and put it into your first electrical branch. Take your power out into the power in of your second electrical branch. Configure this to three, configure this to one. He's just watching me intimidatingly. Now take your uh, branch out and put it into the blocker with your power out going into the electrical branch. Now, I'll quickly show turret, figure this to 11, and obviously you have turret being powered. Pog champ, that's, that's great. It works. I also need to authorize knee real quick. Beautiful. Now then, what's next? Power out of your blocker into your splitter. Power output one into the power in of your timer. Power output two into your toggle on. Power out into your blocker. Take the power out of your timer into the blocker pass through. This effectively blocks power from resetting your circuit. Because how this works is your output of the top blocker will now go into the set of your um, memory cell. Okay, as you can see, power's gone off. To fix this, I'm trying to figure out what I need to do now. Wait, have I done this wrong? I forgot to effectively... Why have I put you into that? I've done this wrong, sorry. Ignore me, I've completely messed up. This branch out, sorry, needs to go into the set. Or, or the reset, sorry, of your um, blocker over here. Who remember still over here? That is that is a problem with me. Okay. Now, obviously, you then rewire it by putting this then into the set, and there we go. System effectively restarts. <laughs> Got a unicorn up there. Okay. As we see, it will cycle through all set, all three turrets. Turret three on. Now then, 
This won't take a long because I haven't configured the timer. Now you can configure the time whatever you want. I would say five seconds is pretty good. Five to ten seconds, somewhere between there. Uh, it does work as though it's three seconds, but yeah, that's how the time works. Now, let's talk about the blocking system and the has target, okay? So, I'm going to quickly deauthorize myself on this turret. It'll see me as a target, and as you can see, the RF broadcaster is now sending power to the receiver. Now, obviously, the receiver will drain the battery when it's being powered by the turret. So, you can set this up with this auxiliary unit that I will show in a second. But, um, effectively, your turrets are being blocked. It's The delayed circuit is being blocked from being powered. Meaning that the turret can now no longer f uh, switch to the next circuit until, obviously, um, target is killed. Or target's out of sight. And even if the target goes out of sight, it still ha they will then have to wait 10 seconds because, or 5 seconds from this. So if I then quickly authorize myself. It's better go uh, timer goes on, sets to the next circuit. That's how that works. So, let's then talk about this little add-on to this BCN. This little add-on is going to charge these small batteries and this backup battery, which I will quickly show you how to connect up to your um, system. So, firstly, Get a spare large battery that's going to be out the way. I would effectively put this somewhere that's not going to get blown. Usually in a compound bedroom if you're in a big clan or, I don't know, somewhere hidden, okay? Now you're going to take the power output of this. Put it into a power input of any electrical branch and an OR switch, okay? This is very important. Now then. Grab the power that was usually going into the, your uh, flip-flop. Take that power, and you now want to pretty much put it into this all switch. Now, this is also important. Put it into power A output, okay? Now, as we as you can see, we only have 50 power going into the flip-flop turrets. You'd want about 144, give or take. So, we'll put uh, 50. I'm just going to put 144 there. Sorry, you want 50. So that's 50 and put the branch out into this. Okay. So then take the power output of your OR switch and plug it directly into the power in of your foot flops. Now then, if I was to say BCN gets destroyed, and we will simulate this by me picking up that branch. Well, wow. turret stay on. Because BCN isn't destroyed. Heck yeah. Quickly reconnect all this. 50. Now then. And it's vice versa. If the batteries that look like they're connected to turrets get destroyed, they will still stay on. So you can think of them as like a little decoy, I guess. Effectively. Uh, I'm just going to quickly do this for my own sake. Because I like to color code things. Okay. Now then. We're going to be talking about powering these batteries, right? So, here is a here's the most efficient and I would say most up-to-date version of a BCN. Thanks to Swift Guide, he showed me this uh, version. I will obviously added a few mechanics to it. Now, small battery. Take this power output, obviously back into the reset. Set that to one. Uh, this then goes, I believe it's into the set. No, it's not, it's reset, sorry. To the reset. You then want power output of your and switch, which you connect to both of the, the fully charged inputs of your large battery. Disconnect the OR switch that is sending power from the BCN to 
your actual power, uh, root power to your batteries. Disconnect this, and then you want to put the inverted power into the splitter again. And then the output of the memory cell into another splitter. And then from the splitter, you can then power auxiliary batteries, so such as these small batteries over here. I'm not really paying much attention to wiring them neatly. Maybe I should. But they're now going to get power. So how the system works is when the large batteries of the BCN are full, uh, the small batteries will then start getting power as well. And that's why, obviously, they will power last. And then you can power your auxiliary batteries, such as this backup battery for your BCN, through the same way. It always means that your BCN is powering the batteries first, and then it powers auxiliary batteries afterwards. Effectively, making sure that any waste power isn't being wasted at all. Especially when it means that all of your batteries in the BCN core are powered, effectively. But, um... Yeah, that's, that's the little add-on that I would add to the flip-flop. I haven't really talked about this. I should probably set this up over here as well for you. RF receiver. Battery. And a branch. This little circuit is pretty easy as well. It is just a battery receiver branch. Now, you might be running... Why can't I just put straight into the power, the, the, this. Well, I like putting, I mean, you can, I guess, it's just gonna waste power, and it will drain faster, as you can see, it drains right now, where if we put it straight into a branch, set it to two, and then into a, uh, receiver, it doesn't drain power, and then obviously the power, uh, in, goes into the blocker and then uh, you want a broadcaster set this to 3 set this to 3 and then the house target goes into the broadcaster that's basically how you complete the circuit yeah uh, I mean hey thanks for watching the video I guess uh, if I've done some things wrong let me know um, but apart from that, I don't know, I hope, I hope the system works in your wipes, and hey, thanks for watching the entire video if you get to this point. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much, and uh, have a great day.